Uh, I got to see what the uh, training staff says here after the, the morning skate, but he's, he's getting closer to playing. Uh, yesterday you talked about the need to see still another level yet from this group and wanting to say it so the guys kind of know it as well. They're saying the same things in the room. Is that a good recognition internally that that message has been communicated? Yeah, I think when your team has the ability to self-evaluate and um, honestly do that, it's, it's a lot stronger than us going in and trying to convince them. But we're all on the same page. We know we have to be better in, in a lot of facets of the game. And um, we think the tools are in that room and that we've done it before so that we have a, a chance to take it up a level. But a um, uh, good um, recognition by the group that there's areas we have to be better in. How much have, is each game really its own entity? I mean, uh, Sean Dursley said that it's, it's its own beast. Yeah. It tells his words what's hard. And how much do you have to convey, make, convey that at all to the players? Do they understand that? We, I, I won't talk about uh, momentum or anything like that from game to game because I think it does take on its own uh, entity or its own event, if you will. Um, and it starts all over again. And, you know, there's changes that are made by coaches. There's lineup changes. There's uh, uh, fatigue issues. Everything starts over with different variables in it. And um, you play another game. Oh, you mentioned after Friday's game, you said something that's like a Kempe arrived now. But you know guys like Kempe or Gabe are really good breakout regular season. Do you kind of look at that and say that's great all the players are doing great, but this is the time of year you prove that you know that you are a premier player in the league? Um, not necessarily because there's a lot of work to do to get to this point. You know, there's 16 teams that wish they were playing right now, and they have some really good players that had breakout seasons, and they're going to be superstars. So I don't want to discredit that group of players. But you can certainly enhance your individual status by performing well at this time of the year. And we've seen it over and over again where um, – you know, individuals that have had good years just keep building on it and they become superstars for a lot of, a lot of time. And then we've seen it the other way where there's kind of one-offs. Uh, individuals have a real good playoff series and then you don't really hear from them again. Um, but uh, I don't think that Adrian Kempe is, is the second. Uh, I certainly think he's the first um, individual that I spoke about there. Do you have um, 200 foot players, um, all three of them, uh, understand what they have to do without the puck and have a pretty good idea of what to do with the puck. Uh, the combination of the three of them works well. They've been together for a long time now. And uh, they all bring a little bit of a, a different ingredient to make the line work. That seems like Q as the series on, is that more comfortable, like more engaged physically? Just what are you thought of playing in the first series? Yeah. Um, 20 years old and he's having an impact on, on our team and on the series. Um, there's always the, you know, got to score and got to do this, but, but he has expanded his game so that if he's not scoring, he's effective. There's so much value in that. We've been stressing that with so many of our other players that uh, you got to have something else. You got to bring something different. And uh, Q has got the opportunity to be up there because he's learned that quickly. And, you know, do we want to put some pressure on him to score goals? Of course we do. But if he doesn't, he's, uh, he's leaving his mark in the game. And that's more than some other guys are. Does this defensive game get overlooked? It is. I mean, this defensive game is pretty solid. At, it at, is. At this, at this age. It is very solid. Um, now, he's playing out of position probably um, right. a, a touch – fewer responsibilities in that position, but often a more difficult task because of who he's out on the ice against. So it, it goes both ways. Talk about defensive responsibility. Kobe's in his uh, 17th NHL season, he's 35, and he's still won 23 plus minutes against McDavid and Dressel. Just how impressive is it that he's still able to do that at this stage, playing for the Clippers? Uh, it's, you know, in all my years, it's one of the more impressive things that uh, you know, I know the, the term in sport, there's load management. 
uh, we rarely talk about managing Kopi's load. He just puts it on his back and he does it over and over and over again. And it's, it's quite remarkable how uh, durable and um, reliable um, he is. And uh, we'll need, continue to need that from him. Was that at skating? Yep. But he, he's not a consideration. He won't play tonight, no. It looked like Marty was going up for a spot on the guys off. Is he going to be back in tonight? I'm sorry? Artie. Artie? Um, I don't know what our lineup is going to be yet. Yep. Is that out of choice or because of injury? Or? Uh, no, just out of choice. 